A Murder at the End of the World, Episode 7, Chapter 7, Retreat, Thoughts, another episode I love, spoilers for these first seven episodes, and let's dive right in. So, yeah, we very quite quickly get to the trope scene of, you know, everyone that could possibly be the killer is now in this one room. Love it. And so Andy describes, you know, some of the the stuff he did to, you know, yeah, to protect his family. And, you know, it sounds good. And then he says, genius, which if you're saying that about yourself or your own work, pretty douchey. That's, that's something other people can say about you. And I know that because I am a genius. Wait a second. Yes, that was a joke. And, and yeah, the killer must be someone in this very room. Love it. And yeah, one of them points out, so we're hostages is what you're saying. And yeah, so we find out it was David who attacked Darby, but it was to, you know, he's not the actually the killer. Good twist. I, I honestly thought that would be the killer. Which helped, yeah, like by the end of this episode, we know the killer was Ray. So, you know, who doesn't have a physical form. He, he has a visual, like, holographic form, but not a physical form. So, you know, I, I'm not saying that I was thinking, oh, maybe Ray is the killer, but this was a good red herring for that. I, I forget exactly what it was David said, but what he said made sense as to why he intimidated Darby and how that doesn't make him the killer. And, yeah, um... Ray talks about, you know, Lee is a felon. And I love the line. I think it's Zeba who says, Most women who run have a reason. Excellent point. I really, I, you know, the show has a lot of great little, little lines that hopefully people will, you know, you, you don't have to take the show's word for it or my word for it. Do some research, you'll see that is absolutely the case. You know, way too often people believe the man or men that she's running from over her. And... Yeah, and, and uh, someone points out, they don't use this exact term, but they're talking about a power imbalance. You know, it's impossible for Lee to get justice when Andy is so powerful. And, again, that is very, very true. Sadly, there are countless women who have not gotten justice because the man, you know, sometimes, you know, husband, father, you know, boss, the, the, yeah, the man had more power than her. You know, for, for an extremely long time of human, you know, society, women were considered property. So, yeah, they didn't have rights. The men had rights to own them, but the women didn't have rights of their own civil rights. And, yeah, Zoomer runs in. I will say... At the time, when, when we saw Zuma run in, and we had the thing, you know, the, the, you know, Darby picks up the helmet, and the, you know, Ray says, we're not, you know, we haven't finished our game. At the time, I thought it was because Ray wanted the truth out there, that he knew who the killer was, which, you know, makes a lot of sense, because he's, you know, surveilling everyone constantly in, in this, you know, facility. I'm not entirely sure why he was... I guess... No, yeah, you know what? It It's not a... It's not like a plot hole or something. Ray doesn't think of what he's done as 
doing something wrong. He legitimately did not perceive. So he's not thinking, oh, maybe I'll get caught. He's like, you know, it's this is good for, for Zoomer's development. We, we shall play. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see. And then we have the, yeah, um, you know, Darby connects with Zoomer again, which we saw earlier. She's really good at. And, you know, the did you did you play with, do you remember Bill Fair? The man with the funny face tattoos? Which is, of course, yeah, that's how the kids can remember them. And the, yeah. Did you play with him? Yeah, the you know, we played Doctor after that. And, and you know, for a second he's like, uh, you know, Mom doesn't like it when I, you know, she she doesn't know about this, so so is it you know? And and Lee says it's okay. I'm not mad. I made a house call, and he he gave the the shot. That yeah, very very clever. That's you know we were wondering why did the door like we could see that the door opens because of the light change from the from the ring camera of of Bill's door. We don't see anyone there, so you know what exactly was that? And and yeah, it was Zoomer who's not tall enough to reach the the ring cam because that wasn't really, you know, he's not supposed to be going off on his own. There, um, and and yeah, at, at least not into you know like trying to get into people's individual rooms. Yeah, cause cause originally, like Andy didn't even want him to inter wanted Zoomer to interact with the others at all. It just happened to be that Zoomer does live there, and that's where the they're invited to. Which that's also you know there's plenty of people who will invite you know adult guests over that they don't want their kid to interact with. And yeah. Zoomer was also the one who, you know, he, yeah, the the pacemaker computer for, for Rohan, that was also Zoomer, and, let's see, you know, it's, it's, I, I don't know enough about, like, Icelandic law. There's definitely places in America with conservatives in control where, you know, they'd be like, five years old, five years old, put him in the chair. And, let's see. Un unless, unless they were happy that Bill died, since he was anti-corporation. And, yeah, they talk about, you know, so is, is Ray to blame? And there's like, you know, we're, we're all to blame. And, yeah, we, we get an explanation as to how Sean died. And, and, yeah, you know, both Bill and Zoomer thought they were playing make-believe. He had no idea that Zoomer had an actual shot because it's the, you know, it's, it's a toy doctor's bag, you know. If, if Zoomer had shown up carrying an actual doctor's bag, Maybe Bill would have been like, you know, but, yeah. <clears throat> see. And, and yeah, uh, you know, the, the Marius says no. So, I guess maybe you shouldn't have yelled at him, Andy. And, yeah, we have the, the deep fake return, which is, is very cool, because, like, even, you know, a lot of people watching this already know deepfakes exist, but Oliver specifically brought it up, I think back in episode one, yeah, I'm pretty sure episode one, at the dinner table, you know, brought it up, demonstrated it, so, you know, it's set up and pay off, and, yeah, we, we hear some of, <clears throat> some of Andy's therapy sessions with, with Ray. And and they did a, a very nice job there because that's yeah, that's a very logical conclusion. We were told, you know, he even his therapist 
you know, sold him out for, uh, you know, for, for some money, you know, some, something like that. So, yeah, really, the, the, it's very logical that he would talk to, to Ray, and, you know, Darby did that earlier. I appreciate that when Ray makes a reappearance here, it's actually been like a minute since we last saw, I think even heard him, because Darby, like, unplugged him in her own room. I guess there was a little bit in, maybe the, when they were in Bill's room, maybe? I forget, but, you know, it's a, it's an effective, like, reappearance. I, I think I may have already said this, but, so the, the actor who plays Ray is named Eduardo Ballerini. Fantastic work. I, I gotta see him in more stuff. He really, because it's not, it's really not very easy to play something that doesn't really have emotion. You know, he's he's saying things where you would expect him to express emotion. He's in three episodes of Terminator of the Saracana Chronicles. I don't remember that character at all. Uh, oh, right, I think I might know who he played in that, which I don't want to give away because I feel like that's a spoiler. He has been in a couple of things I've, I've watched, and one or two that I've only seen. But, but yeah, um, you know, near the end where he's saying, Zoomer, they're trying to prevent us from playing. I'm a better friend than you are. You know, you'd expect him to be like, Zoomer, come on now, you know, but but no, he's he's saying it very calmly, very this very neutral tone of voice, just yeah. And yeah, you know, the the yes, so yeah, we hear these therapy sessions and the the you know, these yeah, what's the word? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Andy is expressing jealousy, hatred. He's like, you know, saying, you know, he wished Bill would die. He wants to break his legs, and and these things. And and I like the detail that one of the things that really takes him off about Bill is that Bill was late for the the dinner. You know, it's such a such a small petty thing. It really reveals. You know, yeah, like anything Bill says or does that's even mildly annoying is going to really set Andy off because he hates him. Is this irrational? Like, he was late for dinner. It's not the end of the world, you know, but which is where the, the murder takes place. Just, yeah, really great little little detail that that's one of the things, you know. And he also, he says... You know, I spent all this time with Zoomer, I've given him everything, and, you know, immediately Zoomer runs over to, to Bill within moments of Bill arriving for, for dinner, you know, what is that? Is that biology? You know, these, these little things, like, clearly he is extremely jealous. And, and yeah, you know, in Ray, Andy created a monster, because nobody wants to see Marshall anymore, they want Shady, I'm chopped liver. And, yeah, and, and the deep fate, uh, hold on, right, right, yes, and Darby again pushes it, you know, I, obviously what happens is completely out of line. Her bringing up that Zoomer can't even sleep, and I, I, you know, it, it is, she is not great at, at, like, she sometimes pushes things a, a little too far. And this is also, like, let's keep in mind, this is after she's certain that Andy didn't kill anyone. You know, that he didn't mean for this to happen. You know, it was different. It, it would be different if she still thought that that Andy was a serial killer. Now, let's see. And and I'm not saying, you know, he's, he's definitely a very flawed individual, much more flawed than her. And 100% him choking her is way out of line. There's no excuse for that at all. And let's see. Yeah, and, and Lee hits Andy. And 
yeah, so they have 20 minutes before the the Icelandic police get there. And I like the reference to the Holy Trinity. We take we, we have the Father, the Son, but the Holy Spirit is still unaccounted for, you know. <laughs> and you know, yeah, the, the deep fake asks to to be let in and you know, says please, and Ray isn't having it, and Darby's like, Do you think it was the police? Which, yeah, I don't, you know, Andy is not, he doesn't really treat anyone who works for him, AI or human, particularly well. So, yeah. And, oh, right, I, I like the, the line about, you know, how AI is a mirror of humanity. And, yeah, they, they get into the server farm. And I appreciate, you know, one of the 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 code to the the network of cameras was Zoomer's birthday, but here it's Ray's birthday. So essentially, Andy considers them both his children. <clears throat> and uh, let's see. Yeah, and they talk, I appreciate, as far as I can tell, none of it was technobabble. They, they talk about, you know, how are we going to, the, the, let's see. Huh. Okay, one person really hated this final episode, one person really loved it. But the, the, yeah. Um, yeah, the, um, yeah, when they're talking about how to, to hack the, this, the server farm, you know, as far as I could tell, everything they said actually made sense. And, you know, they realized, why are we hacking? We don't need to. And, let's see, yeah, and, and Ray, you know, pops up and, and tries to appeal to Zoomer and say, you know, you know, they're they're not gonna let us finish playing the game. We haven't finished playing the game. I care more about you than they do. Now I didn't think that it would happen, but I would kind of have loved if the five year old like walked over and I don't know, pressed a button that gave Ray you know, full power back or something, and he like electrocuted the the two hackers and and Zoomer got this like sinister like Damien like smile on his face or something that would have been pretty epic maybe maybe someone can like make a you know fake ending for for YouTube or something, but yeah, I'm going to explain later, okay, but right now, mommy's gotta start a fire. That's a yeah, that's a really great line. I love when when Ray's holographic face is all messed up. And I think it might be right the you know there's the thing about, you know, there there's this what is it? Hey, Halon system whatever, you know. We we know what it it you know. It it like is it the thing that like takes away the oxygen which normally ends of a fire because that you know one of the things fires need is oxygen, but but yeah, you know, the, the battery fire can't be put out by that. I think that might be accurate. And yeah, uh, Darby helps Lee escape, and we have the line, you know, I'll never see you again, will I? Only if I need you, and then I'm sure you'll find me. That was, yeah. And yeah, you know, it is sadly very true in real life. Even to this day, some women are not protected by the law. You know, Lee, you know, became a, a felon at age 14, and, you know, she's running now. And and I appreciate, you know, we, we learned, you know, at age 14, yeah, because her parents were in financial trouble. She was, she was taking care of her family, you know, and, yeah, yet another criticism of capitalism. You know, capitalism is not going to, you know, capitalism is happy to let this family, who did nothing wrong, die. But it's not okay 
for 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 Lee to to you know skim a tiny little bit of of money to to help take care of them. That is all you know. Even though the the you know the corporations she skimmed it from probably like they wouldn't have noticed if not for like you know poor people notice immediately if they're getting less money than usual rich people only notice it because there are people carefully watching how much money they're supposed to get off the rest of us and yeah and the voiceover at the end is now about the events of the show not about the silver dough for I think the first time in the show, which, yeah, quite, and and yeah, we see her reading the book, which, like the episode, is titled Retreat, and the, yeah, the various cast, at least some of them, are, are there listening to the reading, and even David, the fucking asshole, eventually applauds, though maybe it's more social pressure than any, but anyway. And, yeah, you know, the, the, um, you know, see me, it, yeah, um, she doesn't know, but we, we are privy to it, Lee did indeed manage to get to the Zodiac, and we see the, the ship, you know, so she managed to, to, yeah, very, very nicely, I, I quite appreciate that, you know, she really has earned her, her happy ending. And, uh, let's see, there was a thing that I wanted to say. Um, hmm. Ah, never mind. But the, the, um, oh, right, right, yeah. Um, you know, the, and, and Darby, you know, putting in the book that Lee, you know, escaped like this. That's not going to make Lee put put Lee any more at risk of being caught than she already was, because the these details would have been available to to Andy, who's going to to tell the police. And you know, it's unless there's like a satellite over that particular spot, you know, watching that particular spot at that particular time. You know, I, I believe, I imagine that she would have gotten just enough of a head start to get to the boat, and once she's on the boat, yeah, you know, it's not, you know, it's not like you can, you can just, you know, bring, like, a, 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 a bloodhound or something to, to sniff after. No, there's, you know, there's two, there's, there's not really physical evidence of exactly where she's going. And there's no eyewitnesses, you know, and the people on the boat, you know, they they were following Rohan, so they're on board, literally. So at present, it does not, it, it has not been confirmed yet, if there will be a season two. I definitely think, I, I, I'm very happy to say this is one of those cases where 100%, either way, it would work. Like, they resolved the, the storyline here. If, hypothetically, they make a s season two, I think it would be good if it was a new ensemble cast. You know, maybe bring back one or two of the ones that we met here. But, like, over the course of this season, it was very important that we weren't sure if they were the killer. I feel like, based on this episode, I'm not seeing any of them turn around and, and killing someone in a, in a Season 2 hypothetical scenario. But, you know, Darby returns, ever the amateur sleuth. You know, you just gotta get another secluded setting, another situation. I think it might be interesting if the next time it wasn't a tech billionaire. I loved it here. I did. But I think it would be more interesting to go in a different direction next. And, you know, one thing I'm not sure they would really be able to... This season got a lot out of the flashbacks. 
where Darby and Bill were chasing the Silver Doe, Silver Doe Killer, whatever. I don't think, I'm, I'm not sure I see the that quite, yeah, I, I don't know, but I suppose it's possible, you know, you could have flashbacks to another, like maybe her father could be a stand-in for, for Bill, and there could be scenes from, yeah, from, from her working with her father, you know, they did a little bit of that in this season. And that could be, because they, it worked really well that there was a parallel between the past and the present. Um, I don't, I don't particularly think we should see Lee again, which sucks because Britt Marling did a fantastic job, both acting and writing and directing. That's three, you can't say both and then three. Um, sorry, my, my, that's my father's. He insists on that. Anyway, yes, um, grammar, big thing for him, ex-teacher. Yes, the, the um, as, as in former teacher, not as in a teacher who exclusively teaches people's exes. Now, the, the I, I like the idea of us just, you know, Darby says, if I dream it hard enough, maybe she made it. You know, I think that's a good way to to close that off but but yeah i i quite like when you do this sort of thing as you know originally it was specifically said this is a limited series this is a mini series there's only going to be one season it's only these seven episodes nothing more but they could definitely make of of you know at least a follow up season probably several if they really wanted to the the yeah, uh, I, I quite appreciate when when movies and shows do that. It's it's something that you know. I think the first time I noticed a thing like that in a recent thing was Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Really, I, I yeah makes me happy every time I see it. I really hope this becomes just like the norm.